this had to be a very emotional story for you. You have children. Uh, oh, all, from that area? From that area, and tons of information. Nighttide anchor Carolina Leeds spent the past few days near Parkland, Florida, and this had to be a very emotional story for you. You have children. Uh, oh, all, from that area? From that area, and tons of information that's coming out, even more new information every day. Read your dad too. The hardest part for me that first day was meeting parents who told me they would get a text message from their child saying, the school is on lockdown, there's a shooter, I can hear the gunshots, I don't know how to get out. Then silence. 30 minutes, couple of hours, they didn't know what was going, what was going on. on. One of those people is my best friend, somebody I've been friends with since I was 11 years old. She called me and said, I parked the car, I'm just walking. I don't know where to find my kid. Or where to go or what to do. And that's what that first day was like. Yeah. Then the next day, the guilt. When you found out that your child was alive mm -hmm. and their best friend was dead. Mm. That was tough. I also saw many investigators trying to piece this crime together. They're using video accounts for looking at witness accounts and other evidence. And they have enough information right now to put together a timeline of what exactly happened. The clock starts at 2.19. Sheriff Scott Israel says the suspect, Nicholas Cruz, took an Uber to the high school. He walked into the east stairwell of Building 12 carrying a rifle in a soft black case. At 2.21 and 33 seconds, Cruz hit his first target. Classroom 12.15, then 12.16, and on to 12.14. The sheriff says Cruz backtracked and fired more shots into classrooms 12.15 and 12.16 before targeting students in a fourth first floor class. Moments later, Cruz went up the west side stairwell to the second floor, shooting one person in classroom 1234. <laughs> he ran to the other side of the building, dropped his rifle, and ran back downstairs. At this point, students and teachers are running for their safety. Sheriff Israel says Cruz blended in with those students as he ran out of the east stairwell, across the tennis courts and fields, and into a nearby Walmart, where he bought soda. <laughs> <laughs> After the first shot, Cruz was seen at a McDonald's. He spent about a half an hour. At 3.41 p.m., a Coconut Creek police officer spotted Cruz and arrested him. I think it would be a lot of time. It wasn't. That was six minutes, wow. that timeline. So 17 people were killed in that short amount short of, time, of time, of course. And it's really hard to imagine. Our CBS affiliate in Miami says the building, the school, will be turned into a memorial. No more classrooms. No more. That's the plan. Carolina, thank you. We still have victims recovering in the hospital. We hope that all of them, they all have our thoughts and prayers.